it's so important to mimic race day in training. And so anytime I had a hard effort or a long run, we'd be out there every 5K with bottles of what I was gonna have on the race course. We even did, you know, um, the night before, what am I gonna eat the night before on race day? And I'd eat that the day before the workout. What am I gonna eat the morning of? And we'd do that. And as we were going into these race day simulations, we were doing a lot of data collection. We had a scale that we would use to measure her pre and post weight so that we could understand how dehydrated she was getting. We were actually measuring out all of the fluid that she was intaking by weight as well, how much sodium she was intaking. We were looking at what was possible and also what was actually practical or pragmatic. And it was in that data collection that we realized that we wouldn't be able to get all of the fluid or all of the fuel on board during that we also had to really strategize about what would happen before the race or right at the line. Gwen is really unique. She's not one in a million. She's not one in a hundred million. She's probably one in a billion, right? Um, physiologically, you just don't find human beings with her uh, genetic ability, whether that is her VO2 max, whether that is her lactate threshold, whether that is her running economy, whether it's even her bone density across the board, she is just different. Um, there's absolutely no way that uh, human beings can do what she does if they didn't have that very, very special physiology. A lot of you have probably heard nothing new on race day. And that's something that I preach. And one of the reasons why I really went to scratch was because I was trying things in training and nothing really seemed to work. And once I figured out something that worked, every single hard run, every single long run, I was doing the exact formula of what I was gonna do on race day. And if you attend to those chores, especially on your rest days and your off days, and set yourself up so that on those hard days, Everything happens automatically, whether it's breakfast to having food, you know, right when you begin your workout or you can continue to stay hydrated and fueled during that workout to the recovery food that you get right after to making sure that dinner happens at a good time. You can clean up, go to bed and rest. Those are the things that really make the difference between good and great. Don't, um, you know, wait until the last workout to try out your food fuel. It's definitely something, it's just like your training. As soon as you start your training, you should also start your fuel training.